What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. Happy New Year's Eve. Hopefully everybody has a good New Year. But I had something I wanted to bring up to put a little something in your heads to think about. So, Christmas Eve. First time this has happened, I'm 53 years old. I have lived in Nashville area for all of my 53 years. First time I've had this happen. TVA issues a cut power emergency because they were being overwhelmed because it was so cold. Seven degrees Christmas Eve, or I think it got up to like 12 degrees Christmas Eve day. <clears throat> so they required Middle Tennessee Electric, NES, all the others to do a mandatory blackout. Okay? So, 15 minutes is what was supposed to have been happening. So like I said, 15 minutes was, was all it was supposed to be. 15 minute blackout, rolling blackout <clears throat> throughout the city. Now they're going to do it in sections. Not everything at once, but in sections. Cut it out 15 minutes, cut it back out. All this stuff's automated, they hit a switch, it goes off, hit a switch, it comes back on after 15 minutes. That's the way it's supposed to work. Did not work that way. They killed our area where I live. 15 minutes passes, still nothing. Now I'm in a little Facebook group of a bunch of old boy scouts, uh, well, scouting parents. They were still pretty good friends. We talked to each other quite a bit. Keep up with what's happening in the day. So, I'm on this little group, and we're talking back and forth. One of the guys works for National Electric. You know, his job doesn't require him to be in the office anymore. He can actually work from home. Said his emails were not very pleasant right now at that time. So, they cut the power. 15 minutes passes. Still no power. 30 minutes passes. Still no power. 45 minutes passes, still no power. An hour and 45 minutes later, power comes back. We got word through different people, we know that they had to go manually restart our sector because it would not do it automatically. This particular person that I know of that works for National Electric Service said you would be surprised at how many of them would probably fail during this time. So I guess my question is to you, and I'll tell you what we did. Now it was early morning, so everybody was still in bed. It was not really a big deal. I had already gotten up, my coffee was ready, drinking my coffee when it happened. So as soon as I saw what was fixing to happen, I knew my heat and air unit was going to go out. I fired up the fireplace. We have gas logs. Um, unless they take out the gas company, I'm in good shape. I'll let that thing burn. Matter of fact, during that time, it actually got hotter in the house because the heat was rising, of course. So upstairs got up to 75, which only keep it at 70 year round. Downstairs about 73. So we were staying warm. We weren't worried about that. But I did feel bad for people that lived around us that did not have gas logs. <coughs> What were they doing? What were they having to do to heat their house? Because that cold of temperature, it's gonna start getting cool real quick. I have it made with all the lighting I have for camping and I have emergency lighting in the house. Everybody has a flashlight, some kind of lantern that stays ready to go. So we always have lighting in the house. So that wasn't a problem either. But I feel for these people around me that don't have anything that they can back up on. I had food I could back up on. I didn't open the refrigerator. That, this, that, and another. <coughs> what would these people do that doesn't have preparations? Scares me. Scares me to think that they have their, able to put their finger on a button and turn things off. And we can't do nothing about it. But prepare for the time. That's all that we can do is prepare for the time. All right, guys. Well, you know, drop some comments down below. Um, 
I'm sure I'm, I'm, this is my first time in 53 years I've had to go through a blackout because of power demand. And like I said, I've been in Nashville all my life and I've never had to do it before. But we we're putting such a demand on the power system here that they had no choice. So I think it's more of a time if it's time to stop building. Time to let the infrastructure catch up to what we're trying to do. That's my thought. Is we need to let the infrastructure catch up to what we're doing. Then you can do more. Until then, no. You can't. Work with what you got. Let's get the electricity. Let's get the plumbing or the water. Let's get all that stuff built up first. That would be my way of going by it. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Be prepared.